my channel Sharp Designs by Lakeisha where I am designing my way through life and inspiring you to do the same. If you are new here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button to join the designer family and make sure you hit that post notification bell so that you are notified every single time I do an upload. So it is definitely the same day. I don't know which vlog I'm gonna post first, but I just wrapped up making these two super cute balloon columns for an event that I have on tomorrow, which is my first event as since COVID has happened. I'm filming both tutorials for the columns as well as the beautiful backdrop you're gonna see, which was on the cover for this vlog, which is my boxwood hedge backdrop with a beautiful balloon garland. It's for a butterfly themed baby shower. My client sent me all the colors and everything. I just came up with my ideas to put this all together for her. I'm about to start right now making some clusters, which are the smaller ones. I did do a separate vlog on exactly step by step on how to make those. It was a few vlogs ago. I did it while we were um, quarantining. Just a quick update for you guys. I just picked up my van. A lot of you guys asked on the vlogs, how do I deliver um, or get the garlands and stuff to the events because I do most of the work at home. I rent a U-Haul van. My hey girl. What you doing? Hey guys, I'm back. I um, had to let the camera charge up some, but while it was charging, I did keep going. Cole's in the backyard playing in the pool. Her dad is home for the weekend. And so I've already started. This is a massive bag. Um, let me see if I can show y'all. <laughs> so right now I'm blowing up my larger balloons. And earlier today I showed you guys I was blowing up my clusters. All of them are inside of this. This is a normal, well not normal size. This is like a 50 gallon, um, 55 or 65 gallon trash bag. So I have all of my clusters in here. I'll show you guys those um, later on once I get the garland put together. But for right now, for right now I'm gonna keep working on my garland. I have my 12 and 16 inch balloons and I'm doing just combinations of double 16s, double 12s, 16, 12, just so that the garland has a nice even amount of Balloon. So yeah, I'm gonna keep going and let you guys see a little bit. I've showed you guys how I've blown balloons up a couple of different times, but if you're new here, I do two at a time and I use this pump that I'll link down in the description box below for you guys. And I do the 16 takes a little longer, of course, because it's bigger. Then I press release some of the air so that it's nice and round, and then I just double tie it so that it is together. Simple as that, so come on. Good morning guys, so it's the next day. It is about 9.30ish, maybe 10 o'clock by now. I've been moving kind of slow this morning, I'm not gonna lie. Um, so I have my balloons that I blew up with you guys on yesterday behind me. They are currently in mattress bags. They aren't full to capacity, these bags do hold um, quite a bit. But I have them separated by colors. I'm gonna go ahead and start putting my garland together. My setup time is at two, so I have plenty of time. I'm gonna be putting the garland together today using 
um, fishing line. This is 20 pound fishing line. I'm gonna go ahead and get started with putting my garland together. I'm gonna do like cluster it. Um, I'm not gonna do big groups of clusters, but you guys will see how, it, how it's gonna turn out once I get finished. But I just wanted to give you guys a quick update as well as show you I have everything already over here by the door ready to go. I prepped all of this stuff last night. So I have my columns, oh sorry guys. So I have my columns lined up over here and then I have my bag of clusters that I'm gonna be using to fill in the balloons right here. I have my poles, my structure poles for my backdrop stand, my ladder, as well as my boxwood hedge wall lined up right there. Then my little kit that has all my stuff in it that I need to rig something together if need be, um, all ready to go. So I'm gonna head back over here in this dining room and get started on blowing up these balloons and I'll see you guys in a bit. I think I want to do it in the same order that I did the balloon columns in. So I'm going to start off with pink. And if you are new here, I can give you guys a quick lesson on how I attach it. I start off with two sets of quads. I cross them, take my fishing line. First thing I'm going to do is wrap it over one of the new clusters, which is the cluster on top that you're attaching to link it together. And then you want to bring it back around. We get a link. And you just want to go over an existing back around. It's like a figure eight, and that attaches your balloons together. I do have a step-by-step -step tutorial on that. A little further back, it's a purple balloon garland. It's um, basic to designer. I have shown tons of footage on how to achieve this look. So for this piece of garland, I'm gonna stop right here where I'm at. I'm going to do the garland in two pieces to make it easier to take into the venue. Um, so this should be about as tall as I need it to be. So what I'm gonna do now is just cut the string and double knot it, intertwine it around a few balloons. And then I'm gonna start making the second piece. All right guys, so these are the two pieces that I just finished putting together. They look like, you know, just some balloons strung together. But that is now mean that now means it's time for the magic to happen. Adding in the clusters and filling in gaps and just giving it overall shape. Before COVID, I would actually take my garland to the venue just like this, boring, get it hung up on the backdrop, and then I would go and fill it in. And that's something that you can check out on a couple on my last um, set of Umi blogs before this one. But today, to prevent being in um, a potentially, you know contaminated environment. I'm sure it's clean, but just for safety precautions, I'm gonna do everything that I can here at home. And then I'm going to bag it in my big clear bags and take it there and put up so that it's almost done. Um, maybe add in just a few clusters, but for the most part right now, I wanna go ahead and get it extended where I want it extended. And those are things that can be adjusted once I get there. Because as I told you guys before, once you put a garland together, the balloons can still be manipulated and shaped and moved around how you want it to do. I showed you guys that in the last vlog I did for the baby shower setup. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is go ahead and get my garland, the two pieces attached. And I do that using a 260 balloon. So first thing I'm gonna do is take it and tie it around, triple tie it around one of the balloons. I'm gonna take this piece from here. I'm connecting it at, right here should be good. I'm gonna connect it, or should I connect it from the back to the orange one? That might be best. So I'm gonna take it around the back here and attach it to this orange one. I don't know if you guys can see, let me turn it. I'm gonna attach it to this orange one. It's an orange one right here. I'm gonna attach it to. 
I'm going to link it doing the same way that I used to actually link the garland. So it's going to be like a figure eight method. So bring it around. So these 260 strips pretty good. So you want to make sure you wrap it as good as you can. Bring it back up to the front. Figure eight it around. A couple of balloons. And then whenever I feel like it's in there good enough, I'm just going to tie it in a knot a couple of times. All right guys, another update. This is all I have left from the bag that I blew up. What I did was, I had a lot of extra balloons. My client originally ordered a balloon garland. As you can see, you can't really see CC because I'm not up top. But I was just gonna do the balloon garland down and around my boxwood hedge. But the inspiration photo that she actually showed me was more of an arch. So since I had extra balloons, I went ahead and built an extra piece to go all the way around, hoping that when I adjust it, it will, um, you know, fill out this little corner here. But I have a few extra ones that I can always add should I need to add some extra length to this. So I didn't show you guys all of the clusters that I made yesterday. I wanna do that because I think I'm actually gonna go ahead and put those on. So I have a few gold ones just to give those pops of gold. And again, I showed you guys how to make these in a vlog prior to before this one. And then this is just a bag full to the brim of all color clusters here. I was gonna wait until I got there to add these, but I think I wanna go ahead and do it now again to not have to be there that long. But this whole bag is full of them. Good morning, pumpkin! And Dakota just woke up. So I'm gonna get my clusters added on. And um, yeah, I'll see you guys there. Show you guys finished product in my columns. The garland should have been, is gonna look like this once it's done. So it won't be so basic. You guys can't really see. But I did go in already and add in random, it's not turned the right way over here. Um, I did go in and add in some random gold ones to give the large pops of gold. And then I'm gonna go in with the colors and then do the small pops of gold. So good morning to everybody, good morning. Another quick update for you guys. I added in just a few of the clusters. You can, and you can already see the difference that the clusters make. They give it so much dimension, make it nice, pretty, and full. But it's coming along beautifully, I must say. So this is my ride for the day. I pre-did the balloons in here about 30 minutes before we leave, and I covered it with black trash bags so that the sun wouldn't damage all the balloons inside. All right, so we definitely started without you guys, but all I did so far was hook this side on with my 260 phones.
of course for the backdrop that you just saw it came out so cute i'm hoping that the camera was able to capture exactly how pretty it was right now i'm about to go ahead um and get the ladder and a few other um extra balloons out of the back of the u-haul go drop this bad boy off then i have to go back and pick it up this evening um once the shower is over at seven so i may bring you guys along if i don't come back and pick up the camera please go ahead and subscribe if you have not already to join the designer family make sure you hit the like button make sure you share this video with your sister cousin auntie uncle brother you know everybody so i really do appreciate all you guys for rocking with me and watching my vlog i will see you guys very soon i'm going to be posting the tutorial for the balloon columns i don't know which one i'm going to do first i vlogged both of them though so i'm going to film film i'm um, edit get that edited and post that for you guys and then i have a huge announcement for you guys coming up um very soon so make sure you um have your post notification bell so that you are up to date and you're the first to know but i will see you guys on the next